I do a lot guys, I do a lot. But right now we're gonna do a little weekly vlog, flight attendant vlog, come with me vlog. Today is my first official day. Um, I'll be heading to the airport where I'll be doing a uh, standby. But I actually picked up a flight a couple days ago, so that was amazing. When I get into the car, I'll talk to you more about it. So I'm in the crew area, crew lounge, offices or whatever you want to call it. Um, this side really does look so much shorter. <sighs> I can't let that stress me out, not tonight. So I'm here, I'm way ahead of time and I'm just lightly, politely eavesdropping. Um, there's some things that I want to ask for help that I hear people talking about. So I'm going to go do that shortly. And I'm kind of hungry, so I may go get something to eat. Um, they have free coffee, and I'm not a, I'm not like a coffee coffee drinker. I like my, like you know, fraps and like the, the what Starbucks is popular for the cute drinks. I'm not a heavy, I need caffeine type of type of person. But they do have a strawberry flavored coffee, and it's free, so I'm gonna be drinking that up whenever i'm here just for a little bit of energy um, i'm sorry i really like i'm just so proud of myself that i did this this section though i need to finish because i didn't have enough time so i did a four flat twist anyways this is not going to be my first flight because i didn't get to share with you but i'm going to share with you now i picked up my first flight which was from um jfk jfk to miami and then miami back to jfk and that was just absolutely amazing i made a little tiktok video even though there was like nothing to show i completely forgot to to show anything i talked about me going and i talked about me coming back when i was at home so i mean a lot of people liked it uh it was not like the most adventurous video and i already stated that i cannot film while i'm working i refuse to do it i'm not gonna lose my job so if you came to see like inside of planes it's just not gonna be from me at least not when I'm working like if I'm a passenger um, and I'm you know chilling in my seat I'll vlog but when I'm working I'm working two different types of working I have you guys and I work I work for my YouTube I work for you guys like I put out amazing videos and I love it and I get paid and I get brand deals and sponsorships and sometimes I get to travel and you know just do amazing things with companies because of my YouTube but I'm trying to keep it separate and aside that when it comes to me working on the plane, I keep that professional and separate. But when I'm going to be on the layovers, I want you guys to see everything just like when I do travel vlogs. Because look at the St. Croix video that you loved so much. The cruise video that you loved so much. Like Those were very quick videos. Um, but I did my best to enjoy it for myself and to bring you guys along with me. So I'm rambling, but that trip was amazing. Most amazing flight attendants. I learned so much and I'm really excited to keep on learning. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know, so happy. Somebody even commented, tell me you're excited without telling me you're excited. And I was like, yep, that is me. Anywho, I'll be on standby from 10, 15 till two i believe two o'clock i don't think it was 2 15 but it should be four hours i think it should be 2 15 um yeah and i really 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 hope i get called because a lot of the late flights are to like england and brazil and israel um, I'm trying to think of I don't think there's any Doha flights that's this late as my my shift 
and I don't think there's any Delhi flights that's this late for my shift. A lot of them were like seven and nine and there would have been them up in the skies now. So I'm really hoping I get called. Um, yeah, that's really it. If I don't get called, I do have wrap tomorrow, which will be on call at home um, from five p.m. to I think 5 a.m. which I don't mind um yeah so I'm gonna go now into the crew area and keep on editing videos by the time this is going out it would have been way past it I'm gonna really try to get caught up with all the videos because I really am behind um yeah other than that I don't want to keep rambling thank you all so much for subscribing make sure you like comment and share and stay tuned for more bye past the point where I'm not gonna get called unfortunately um, hopefully I do get called tomorrow I have rap D um, yeah so I'm really glad that I picked up a shift because if I didn't pick it up I'd be sitting here just like beside myself wondering like how my first day was gonna be so I think all the flights are kind of gone um, I kind of feel like I want to walk around the airport a little bit, so I may go and do that just to like get my steps in. Um, I have, as you saw, another coffee. This one, I think I put um, caramel syrup. I have an hour and 18 minutes left, and then I can go home. Mmm, it does taste really good back home did you just lean i think you just leaned um back home and it's 3 14 a.m i finished twisting my hair had some i think it was sardine can't remember and i've pinned up this part so it can scrunch because i have some heat damage um unfortunately from when I got my sewing so what I avoided I got um, but I will be putting it up when I go to sleep so I'm gonna go to sleep now it's after five um, I'm gonna try to wake up let me see five to six six seven seven eight eight to nine nine ten ten eleven eleven twelve set an alarm for twelve thirty I'm gonna put my hair in a pineapple with the scrunchie so it stretches out. <laughs> Bye guys. It is five o'clock. I'm officially on call until 5 a.m. Um I don't think I I think I did. I think I did. My hair is wrapped up. I did tell you guys I finished my hair. I'm gonna drink some water because my body is feeling sore. You know when you stay in bed all day and you get up and you feel like you should have so much energy but you feel sore? That's how my body feels. And it's raining outside, so... Yeah, but from now until 5 a.m. I could get cold. Um, I'm gonna um, edit a thumbnail for tomorrow's video drop in Malika special effects and export tomorrow's video uh that's it good morning <laughs> i got assigned a trip yesterday so i knew i wasn't gonna get used on my wrap on my um uh, sorry i'm like a little bit tired i'm gonna upload this video now because i did not have the energy i definitely stayed up on tiktok though but for some reason i did not have the energy to get up and come export this video what is wrong with me <laughs> but i did finish my thumbnail um we are that's, i'm gonna do much better at this youtube deserves so much more than what i'm giving it right now um but yeah so i am going 
let me tell you exactly where I'm going actually let me tell you where I'm going I'm a bit nervous I'm not gonna lie because I do have the lead position but I heard a couple speeches and I feel a lot better and how am I going to learn if I don't try um, it's not that I won't be able to not try because I gotta show up to work but I can't beat myself up if it doesn't go perfect you know I can only try but I know I won't be bad or nothing because I'm that girl I can do it um so it's kind of crazy I'm just I could almost cry I could almost cry I'm going from LaGuardia to Miami and then I'm going from Miami to Nashville Nashville you heard that right and then from Nashville, um, I'm going to spend the night. I don't leave until Monday, tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to be exciting, the hotel. But we get to Nashville late anyways. I don't even know how to search for certain things. Like, how do I know the van time? Like, I'm going to, I need help. <laughs> anyways, um, I'm going to, I'm going to get to work early today. I'm going to, uh, my sister's going to drop me off. And I'm gonna find somebody and be like, listen, please. I never even had a question about the van time until now, the hotel, because I, <sighs> calm down, calm down. From Nashville, I'm going to Dallas, and then from Dallas, heading back to LaGuardia. I don't get back until late, late, like basically Monday night, Monday night and when I say night I don't mean seven o'clock eight o'clock I mean Monday night like after 11 is when I get back I'm really excited though I think that's nice um yeah that's it so right now I need to get my body prepared I need to get myself prepared everything in my bag that I packed from a couple nights ago is everything I'm gonna keep there's nothing in my bag that I don't think could be useful for Nashville or if I get sent somewhere else last minute or if I get you know re yeah rerouted last minute everything that's in my bag my bag is right there I can show you in a minute um yeah we are all we're, we're ready to go I'm just gonna work on this and continue editing video good morning um we have arrived I know <sighs> I know it's been really quick um, and I haven't spoke to you since I think I was leaving the house. I should start checking the previous footage before I come on here and talk to y'all. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm in, where am I now? I'm in Nashville right now. I'm not here for long, so there's not gonna be anything to show you. I literally, quite literally, leave tomorrow afternoon. And it's not even late afternoon, I leave at two o'clock so that means no i leave at one o'clock 1 40 something so that means i need to be at the airport by 12 something um yeah so honestly there's not gonna be much to show when i get up in the morning i'm gonna walk around the hotel and see and then i'm not even in the downtown area um i'm literally surrounded by let's be dramatic a hundred other hotels so yeah not really much to do on this end but i'm really grateful this is my first layover and the um, hotel is really really cute matter of fact let me just show you what the hotel is looking like right now so i had to shower really quickly but i'm gonna show you what the bathroom is looking like um there's a bathtub to your right a bathtub has a nice shower head though that's it and then there's a full length mirror i'm wearing a dress <laughs> don't judge um and then this is what the room is looking like i did all my inspections i checked the closets tore up the bed checked the bed uh laid out all my things and my devices are charging i warmed up some food because fortunately for us we have food we have a microwave in the room which is so amazing and I have like this towel on my clothes, but I should probably move it. Um, my uniform is laid out. You don't mind that. Uniform is laid out, and honestly, I'm ready to get some sleep because it is 1.23 a.m. I'm just really, really happy. 
Good morning. Oh my god, guys. I'm in the airport and I'm gonna get some coffee. I promise I don't look as crazy right now. But all right guys, so I should have showed you the cupcake before, um, but it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, the inside's kind of cold, um, but I do love chocolate, so regardless, it's fine. Um, we have trainees on this flight, and I'm the number one, and this is my first time being number one. It's so crazy, um, but I'll come right back. All right guys, so I'm heading to the game now. And I will see you guys when I land. If anything, I'll try to vlog when I'm in Dallas. If not, I'll just see you when I get back to New York. Bye. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna say hi. Gonna say hi. Hi. Oh, my crew, they're so amazing. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, bye. So I got um, a spicy <laughs> deluxe and um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is what it looks like. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Alright, bye guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, I just got some Chipotle. We are on the flight. So basically we're deadheading and that's just <clears throat> the last leg of our flight and so we're working the trip home. We will be sitting in passenger seats. Going home, so sometimes you can deadhead. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you can deadhead in uniform, and depending on like if you're going, let's say you're going somewhere and you're turning right back around and you're deadheading the first leg there, then most likely you'll be wearing uniform. Um, but if you're deadheading and you have, let's say, a layover, and then you're working the next morning back home, then sometimes you would be wearing like regular like appropriate clothes you know like not no <clears throat> short shorts and crop top like nice jeans nice shirt like dress whatever uh but yeah so i'm gonna enjoy some of the fries from my meal and i'm gonna either read something or watch something on netflix i didn't download anything i was not expecting to dead head home so I don't think I have anything downloaded. I mean, I think I can try. You can also watch something on um, whatever flight you're on. Their in-flight um, system, any movies that they offer, you can do that. First, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our flight to New York, LaGuardia. As you can see. guys i know i have a lot of updates for you but i'm on tiktok live right now and i'm gonna try to get some work done and eat while i do all of this stuff so make sure you follow me on tiktok and on instagram at bacana brown i'm getting some um asian food oh my god i just love these glasses so much oh this is glasses from glasses usa and i'm testing it out and i absolutely love it oh my goodness uh, they transition to brown in the light, so when I go across the road to collect the food, I'm gonna really test it out. So amazing. Hi, good afternoon. Um, may I get um, a steamed um, uh, shrimp dumplings, please? Okay. Yes, and I think I'll get one more um, one more dumpling. I'll, I'll get the steamed chicken dumplings, please. All right, so yeah, in about, oh, I didn't mean to drop it like that, 10 minutes. Oh, I don't think I caught you guys up, so I think now's the perfect time to catch you up. I'm editing training, um, my training vlog week one. Oh, it's making me so nostalgic, or it's giving me like a nostalgia feeling. Um, and 
I miss it. I miss it. I miss my trainers. I actually te texted all my trainers. I'm going to text her back today. Um, it's just been so amazing. I told her about my trip. So I don't think I was able to really fill you all in. But basically we had some delays to start off the flight and some delays to end the flight. And I ended up actually like me and the crew had to like basically fly home as passengers on our last leg home because we were so delayed going into Dallas that the flight from Dallas to LaGuardia there was no way we would have been able to work it because it was um over an hour and 30 minute delay the delay wasn't because of us though it was a mechanical delay so I don't feel good about a delay anytime ever but I'm glad the delay wasn't our fault Especially because that was my first ever assigned trip and that was my first ever time being number one the lead flight attendant um, I don't know what else there is for me to say. I think that's really it. The layover was nice. It was just a quick layover like It was literally I think 11 hours layover So I only had enough time to sleep and wake up in the morning and like roll over and then get up and get ready um, I did however pick up a trip for Chicago and that's coming up in a couple days actually Memorial Day um, so I'll be going to Chicago on Memorial Day um, which is great because I'll be getting time and a half so I want to see what that looks like and um, I'm also getting lead pay for the trip that I got assigned because I worked number one and number one gets paid a little bit more uh, which is also really interesting um i'm looking forward to more number one positions but i can definitely wait uh to get more experience but i do want to try out every single position before i i start like bidding for a specific one and then what's the next thing i get paid on the 30th i already set up my direct deposit so i'm actually looking forward to that as well to see how that works whether i'll get a paper paycheck first or it will just all go to direct deposits um, I asked around to the flight attendants that I worked with and they said they never got a paper one. They always got the direct deposit. So we'll see. Some people in my class heard differently from flight attendants they flew with. So only time can tell when it comes to that. And then today, um, in about an hour, let me see, 13, 14, 15, 16. <gasps> it should be coming up now. I want to see what I get assigned tomorrow because I work tomorrow. Oh. I've lost a good amount of weight. I don't know if you can see it in my face, but I think I'm losing weight again. Yeah, there's nothing else that I see. Good morning. I actually woke up at, um, well, I fell asleep. I don't know at what point I went to sleep, but I definitely fell asleep. Uh, guys i'm loving the glasses so much oh my god take them off my face i love them <laughs> One side of my hair is definitely, I don't know, I, I don't know girl, but I made it, I had the craziest day, so I'm gonna eat some of this um, dumplings from yesterday and tell you about how crazy my day was. So it all started off when I decided to sleep through my first alarm because I thought the second alarm was gonna wake me up and I asked my mom to call me but she had a lot of cases at work so she couldn't like her alarm went off too but she just couldn't she didn't have any time to come give me a call so I woke up at 8 26 and that's why I couldn't film anything um, no little TikTok get ready with me no lives no YouTubes none of that stuff um so 826 I rolled over and it was just nice and I was like oh I jumped out of bed I'm so grateful that I woke up and ironed my uniform 
and like packed everything in my bag that needed to be in my bag because if I had to do that at 8.26, I would have been late. So I wrangled it up and I did everything that I had to do. And by the grace of God, my train was late. So I'm late, my train's late, it's a perfect combination. Um, I got there with enough time to spare, buy my ticket, and wonder what the heck. Dumpling. This is a part of the story. Don't forget this. So I'm on my train. It's going really good. It's an express train. Only two stops. The stop before my stop and my stop. I get to my stop and I have no idea where I am. I'm trying to find um, the track for my second train. Couldn't find it to save my life. Uh, I went and I asked the barista for help and uh, she pointed me over to the boards and just explained some stuff to me location wise and crazy 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 i went over to that board and i was confused i was lost i'm gonna just insert some of the videos um that i collected for my tiktok um and then i walked around i was gonna give up and i'm like no you got this so I walked around like the whole column that the boards are on and I finally found one that related to where I was going. So that one was at track 203. I will never forget you because I couldn't find it. And when I finally found it, the escalators were going down. Couldn't find the elevator and I heard this is the last call for da 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 track 203. So I was like, Jesus, are you kidding me? Um, so I grabbed my bag, I took off the tote bag, I grabbed my um, suitcase, and I ran up the stairs. As we reached the top of the stairs, the train is pulling out. I still a bye bye, goodbye. Um, that broke my heart. It actually made me really upset. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I finally made it for the train to be gone. So I ran downstairs. Well, I took the escalator down because it was only going down. Um, and then this man saw how flustered I was looking and I was staring at the board trying to figure out like, what am I going to do? So then I heard in the background, um, such and such, Jamaica Station is the next stop. Um, 301 or something like that. But I'll never forget 203. Um, and then what happened? Oh yeah. And then um, he was like, where are you trying to go? I'm like, Jamaica. Uh, so he's like, you can go over to that one. So I ran over it, same thing. Um, this is the last call, but I knew the trick now. So I ran up the stairs with my suitcase and took bag in hand, two flights of stairs basically, or it's like one flight, I'm, not, I'm guessing, one flight. Um, and I made it. But then like I smell something funny Soy sauce spilled in my bag. This spilled in my bag. So my bag smells funny. Um, I cleaned it to the best of my abilities. The story's coming to an end. Um, but then when I got to the airport, I got randomed. So I had to go through extra security. So I don't know. Today's a funny day. I hope I get called. So all of this wasn't for nothing. Uh, yeah, but... Who would have thought? But that's why you always will you anywhere you're going <coughs> with enough time that if your plan A, B, C, and D fails, you still have other plans. So I had more than enough time to get to work. It was just I didn't want it to be stressful. <laughs> but I made it. So I'm gonna eat the rest of this food and watch Sopranos. Guys, I got called for the very first time. I'm just gonna pre-board. Um, they did say the flight attendant is running very late. So 
I may be going to Miami. But that's it. When I heard it was like a wide body plane, like a really big plane, like the international plane, I was like, oh, please be going somewhere international. But we are possibly going to Miami today. I'm only gonna be pre-boarding. Um, that's okay. I'll be in the back. I've never been in the back before, so I'm super duper excited about that. Um, I'll update you when I can. As for now, I gotta go. Alrighty, so I'm in the terminal and I'm sitting and looking through um, my manual to just re-familiarize myself with the position that I will be helping. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the plane. I just saw fumes coming out of the, um, I don't even know if it's called fumes, girl. The, I don't even know how to describe it. Anyways, child. So I'm looking at it. It's kind of a full flight. I'm not gonna lie. It is a full flight. I should be leaving soon. And I just wanted to charge up my device some more. It's above the minimum um, charge, but it could be charged up some more. I'm gonna call my mom and let her know. So let me try to do that real quick. But I'm going home. Did not get used today. So sad. But that means tomorrow I'll be back at 12.30 and I won't leave until 6.30, so maybe I'll get used tomorrow. Whew. Kinda sad, but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, like I said, I get used tomorrow. I don't really have anything else to say, but I'm gonna go home for long, long hours of traveling home. I'll try to record my journey home. If not, I'll see you when I get in. something in the next nine minutes I'll be on the clock uh, so I'm working 12 30 to 6 30 today and uh, yeah, I just heard like five people got called for London this morning and, um, I don't know I would like to be someone that called that got called for something and I got called for the first time yesterday. That was cool. She was like, flight attendant brown. I was like, yeah, that's me. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any other updates. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to watch The Little Mermaid. Um, I was gonna wear like a really green, pretty um, sweatpants sweat suit, but I'm like, nah, let me wear this dress and be kind of cute. So. Take a look at what I'm wearing. All right, so I've lowered it so you can see better. I'm just wearing this really cute dress. This is how it looks at the top. My Adidas jacket, which I thrifted. And I'm wearing some red slippers. The dress is like a, a max calf dress. Stops here. So I'm gonna be very comfortable. Um, the movie starts in about 20 minutes. Um, I'm just gonna eat a little bit because I think I'm gonna buy a medium popcorn and a drink for myself 
or I may bring a drink and just buy the popcorn and hide the drink in my bag. You already know. Uh, today was crazy. I pre-boarded a flight for Madrid. So I could have been on a plane to Madrid right now, but the flight attendant that I was standing by for showed up. So I had to get off the plane and go home. So that was kind of sad. Um, so honestly, the fact that The Little Mermaid comes out tonight and I'm going on opening night and I'm watching an IMAX 2D pricey ticket for one, but I want to go and support and see our first black Little Mermaid um, emphasis on the black because I feel like it's so important for young black kids, young kids of color, other kids, you know, of color. It's very important for them to see the diversity and to see what is possible for them. I'm really feeling this hairstyle. Mommy got some seafood um, soup and it looks so good. They have crayfish, crab, shrimp. It just... It, it it's so delicious trust me mm, it's cold right now <laughs> so on next time can we come warm it up mm -mm -mm. but it's honestly so good hi guys look who i met a subscriber you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Tisho. I also have a YouTube channel as well. Okay, then guys, follow her YouTube. Subscribe as well. Crazy Tash. So C-R-A-Z-E-E -E Tash. And subscribe to the craziness over here. I finally got to meet my girl, the Khan at LaGuardia Airport. She's on a little flight today. So I hope am. she has a safe journey. And such, 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 such. <laughs> Good morning. I am at JFK on standby. Uh... And I'm gonna go downstairs. I heard there's a Caribbean event downstairs. So I'm gonna go see what that's all about. And maybe I'll show you guys. Um, I go home in the next 20 minutes. I'm hoping I get called, but most likely not. So I'm kinda sad. I really wanna fly, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go home and just watch a couple movie and edit and repack my bag so bye the event has not started yet and it starts when i leave how crazy so maybe i'll have enough time after i leave to just stay back and see but look at the jamaica colors uh, i guess it's like all of the caribbean and like probably some of um south america not too sure but they have a live band so i'll wait a little bit and see if i can capture some footage for you guys this is me today's outfit I need to get some more tights. Can you believe I got this from the dollar store and it's holding up so strong? I really like it. Alright, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go to um, Dallas then from well from New York City to Dallas Dallas to Baltimore I'm laying over in Baltimore oh my god this is not it don't look bad but you can't see the flyways and what is this so shy, just don't keep me right If I should put the red lipstick on and put gloss over it, or just keep the red lipstick, this is a Sephora 96. And usually, what you guys have been seeing from training is a combination of the Sephora 96 and the Fenty, but the Fenty. The Fenty one, um, 
is more like matte so I, it, I don't think it makes sense to put that on if I plan to put gloss this is really beautiful Ta -da! I don't think I'll put any um I don't think I'll put any gloss all right I'm gonna get my stuff and go down to the gate Guys, we're on one of the little cars. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 right there. You see all the cart? Yes. That's Thank you. My pleasure. Good morning. I am on live, and I am on YouTube. I'm gonna just show you guys what that looking. What's that? What's that? What that's looking like. <laughs> Online. It's super early. I don't know who is up. I honestly don't think anybody's up. Um, but yeah, you too. Okay. Um, I have a little under 30 minutes to get ready for the van time. I am currently in Baltimore. In a hotel, this is my second layover. Um, I'm going to skincare and then I'm gonna do some um, makeup, simple, simple makeup. Make sure you go over and subscribe to my. Oh shit. Too expensive for weeks. Make sure you go over and subscribe. To my YouTube channel, I'm actually on YouTube right now doing the same thing. But honestly, guys on YouTube, make sure you come over to my live and watch the live because I'm gonna get ready and then I'll be right back. I'm all ready to go. Um, I'll just talk to you guys in the airport. I have to edit a vlog for this weekend, so won't be talking. I'll talk to you when I get to Charlotte. Bye. From the place that I previously showed you. What is this called? It's got a sesame bagel. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Bye. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're on a final. Hey guys, so I'll be ending off today's, well, this vlog, my first week, my first couple weeks as a flight attendant, but I think I'm just going to title first week. Um, I think I have a good amount of trips in there. It is kind of all over the place. The machine is doing a hot water rinse, so you're hearing all that. It, the timing is just what it is, but I have to leave uh, to get to the gate in 30 minutes. Because uh, that's when I need to be on board the plane. And I'm going to California today. I'll be doing a whole other California vlog. I'm eating breakfast. So please make sure you check that out. And yeah. I'm really, really excited. This is fun. I'm not going to really do a lot of flight attendant vlogs. But I will do a lot of travel vlogs. Um, based on the layovers that I go to. So bear with me and let me know you know where in the world you want to see me go and i'll try to bid for those trips well not bid for them because i'm so new but i'll try to search for them and pick them up if they're open and yeah just let me know i do plan on doing a lot of caribbean trips going to jamaica back home i know you guys love that because you're my core subscribers and i want to go home as much as i can um also, I see a lot of trips for Barbados, St. Kitts, um, USVI, whether it be um, St. Croix, St. I think St. John, and I think I saw St. James. Um, there's also trips for the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. There's a lot of trips for Guyana, and I see a lot of South America and London trips. So just so you can be on the lookout for those, I'm going to try my best to try to pick them up when they are open and i really appreciate all your love and support and just know that you know you've helped me with all your wishes 
all your <laughs> comments all your prayers it means a lot to me and i will see you guys in the next one check out my instagram and tiktok at bikana brown and like comment subscribe share and see you.